Well, this is what the public have told me they want to do. And uh, basically my belief is if the public wants to do something in one way, they should be able to do it. Most of us use digital now um, rather than just phoning to get in contact with our banks, with other organisations. The same should be true of the police. And so Click Before You Call is about trying to make sure that people can contact the police in the way that is best suited to them. I'm here today because I want to show everyone that we're in a call centre exactly the same people will be responding to your call. It's just that um, rather than just taking 101 calls or just taking 999 calls, they also will do it online. How many of them are there? Well, we just want to give the public as many means of being able to contact us as possible. And clearly in most people's lives now, um, they do a lot of things online and in the digital space. And we think that being able to contact the police um, is one of those opportunities that they should have some options to do that. We, we have a control room here. Much of um, the contact we currently receive is via the telephone. It can be busy. Um, it does vary at different times of day. Certain types of incidents suddenly happen and a rush of calls come into the room. Um, so it can mean that if you are dialing 101 at that period of time, you may have to wait slightly longer because of the other volume of calls that, that are coming in. So the, this um, click before you call gives us an option to be able to divert people to other means of finding solutions where it's appropriate. Um, to do so. Some people are very nervous using the phone, are very, very comfortable in social media, are very, very comfortable online. Um, I want to make sure that we're here for all of them so that you don't have an excluded group who can't contact us. But let me uh, just underline, that doesn't mean to say that we are going to be doing less policing in the community. Neighbourhood policing is really important. People will want to be able to contact us and they'll still be able to have police officers visiting them at home and they'll still be able to go and visit police officers in police stations if that's where they want to do. Indeed, I'm rolling that out even more. But this is another way of making contact and it's a good way of doing it. Okay, leave that with us sir, we'll see if we can get somebody over there. We need to keep up with the pace that technology moves on at and also the way in which society wants to use technology. So we're very aware that some people don't feel particularly comfortable in picking the phone up and contacting the police. So if we can provide the ability to web chat in, um, find answers yourselves, report things directly online, then it frees up our call takers for the really urgent calls and we would still say if you've got an incident that really means you should be dialing 999 please dial 999 and speak to somebody but equally think not everything's that urgent you know some things can be dealt with over web chat some things can be reported online and please do that because it will help us as well to be able to keep back our resources for the things that are most critical and urgent that we need to respond to immediately.